Hello, welcome to the training video on dashboards, where I'm gonna give you an overview of the dashboards, how you use them, uh, what the options are, and also take a look at Land Super Classic, where you can also still find dashboards and how you configure those. So let's jump into Land Super and take a look here at our default dashboard that we have. So once you get into Land Super, you'll see that you basically have a couple of dashboards already ready for you. Um, now, obviously, these are accessible to everyone, um, but you can create your own dashboards simply by creating the new dashboard button. Let's just call it test here to show you everything that's in here. And you'll start kind of basically with a blank canvas where you have to add new widgets. Um, we have a list of widgets. I'm not going to go over all of them, um, but basically um, there are different kind of widgets that you can use for different use cases. If it's just kind of overview kind of widgets that you want just to give you raw numbers, um, or if you want to iframe certain things, um, if you want to put an RSS feed in your dashboard, uh, all of it is possible. And then we have some specific widgets for reports. So where you want to, if you want to show results of certain reports in your dashboard, as well as one for scanning status. So I'm going to drag a few of them in here just to give you a view of what it looks like. Um, so let's do asset types. I want to see apply. And once you have your widget in here, you can kind of change it however you like. So you want to choose how large it has to be. Um, you can also change where it's located. So if you want to do funky stuff, like put it in the middle. So we'll add a chart report to this as well. I'm going to show you the operating system overview in a pie chart with data table below it. So we'll extend that a bit as well to show everything. And then the last thing we'll add is something with numbers where either you can use some built-in uh, predefined numbers that we have, or you can actually use any report that you've created to show the total number of results in that report useful for things, for example, like Patch Tuesday, where if you want to know how many of your devices are still out of date, you can put it in this widget and I'll show you how many results are in that report, which means that that's the number of Windows machines that you still need to update with the latest Microsoft updates. So once we save the board, we'll actually get another pop-up here asking us to choose who is allowed to see this specific dashboard. We can either automatically show it to everyone or we can select specific accounts. So if you only want this to be shared with certain people within your organization, you can do so. Um, but for this one, we're just going to show it to everyone. That's basically it. Uh, your dashboard here is finished. Um, now let's head over to Lounge Super Classic where I'll show something similar as well. So here on-prem, you can see that at the top, we have quite a list of dashboards that I've already created. So not all these are default ones. Uh, some of them are, but you can see all the tabs at the top are different dashboards that are available right now. Um, and to create a new one, all you need to do is add a new tab, um, give it a name, so I'm gonna call it test. Um, and then you get basically a blank canvas similar to what you've just seen. But here we have some layout options on the left-hand side. So it's not as flexible as the cloud version. Um, you have to set or select your predefined uh, layout beforehand. And then you can select out of a list of widgets. So where you wanna get, for example, if I want to see a uh, exchange overview, I can put it either, since I have kind of this three setup or layout selected, I can choose where I wanna put this widget. Let's put it in the middle. Um, and I can add a few other ones as well, like a vCenter overview on the right-hand side, um, maybe a CCM covered left-hand side, um, and then add Land Super News in the middle here as a last thing. Um, and then obviously be this, because we do not have, um, because I've already given it a name and already created a dashboard, there's no need to save any of this afterwards. It's already saved, it automatically saves for you. Um, I can just basically narrow down or collapse the widgets view again, and we have our dashboard. Um, now this is, there's no way to select who you share this with. It's kind of a, either it's a private dashboard or it's available for everyone. So that's something to keep in mind when you do create these dashboards. Um, as long as somebody can see dashboards within Land Super Classic, they'll be able to see all of the dashboards that are shared with basically everyone. So as long as they're not set to private, um, 
then they're shown to everyone basically as you can see here i can create a share or can make it a shared tab which will get kind of the square box indicator um, to show that it is shared to everyone um, so with that i've shown you everything there is on dashboards and you can head over to the next video to learn more